Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the video. Today, video, I'm just going to share with you guys one answer to one of the questions which was left on one of my videos, which you know I posted last year, January 2022. I'm trying to look for the question here. The question is, you know, sont les fruits à combiner? And Vagrami, the question over there, this guy is asking me, his name is Sanusi, he's asking, what are the fruits to combine in order for him to be able to get maybe the same result as me, or maybe better result, or maybe if he just was it is has alopecia back of my crown i've got less hair right the bar means so i've got alopecia on my crown right so the first fruit you gotta be eating first gotta be watermelons watermelon helps improve blood flow into your hair follicle and whoever talking about the improvement of blood flow into your hair follicle gotta be talking about improvement of transportation of all vitamins and you know minerals you know that your hair follicle needs in order for you to be able to grow strong and long hair on your head right so always good about you know having a watermelon two slides four slides that really gonna depend on the love you got for watermelons but always good about having them slice if you don't like eating them raw you can always go about you know, uh, blending them in a liquid form and then, and then drink them, right? The second fruit gotta be mangoes. Mango is gonna be helping your hair scapula to produce its own oil so that you know your hair don't get drier. If you, if, let's say if you ask someone who got like a dry scalp, just like in my personal case, I always got like a dry scalp and sensitive and dry. So, well, if it's not properly moisturized, what's gonna happen is that, you know, my cells over my, you know, my hair scalp are gonna be dying and then when they die, they dry, come out like in flake, we usually call that dendroff, actually just like a dead cells, right? So always make sure consume a lot of mangoes. Mangoes are gonna be helping you out, guys, you know, to overcome your, your dendroff level. So I mean, the more your hair, your, you know, your scalp is moisturized in the way it's supposed to be, then the less dendroff you're gonna be having on your hair, and the more hair you're gonna be growing. So the less dendroff, the more hair you grow. The more dendroff on your hair, the, you know, the less hair you're gonna be growing, right? And you know, the less moisturizer your hair scalp is, the more dendroff you're gonna be growing. You always consume mangoes every day, right? You can go about uh, one mangoes a day or two mangoes a day, right? It's not a big deal, right? And besides moisturizing your hairs, mango does help you, you know, to avoid split end of your hairs, right? So always make sure, you know, to take all this into consideration. So is gonna be helping you out, guys, you know, to reduce DHT from part of your hair where you normally don't, you know, grow hairs due to your dehydration from those part of your hairs, right? Always make sure first to acquire them raw. I'm not recommending anybody tomato pasta. You want tomato pasta, buy them way fresher, make them, put them in pasta by yourself in the first place. Beside tomato, it's always good about consuming you know, a lot of avocados. Avocados are well known for their natural healthy fat in them, which are very good for your heart. But beside the natural fat, avocado is packed with a lot of biotin, right? Biotin is very you know, crucial and important for your hair to grow way more natural and way more stronger, right? So always good about having one avocados or maybe two avocados. That really gonna depends on you know how much you love avocados and how much you like you know, eating avocados, right? If you are someone who don't like maybe avocados maybe go about you know, getting eggs eggs you know are not just good for the protein they've content for your hairs but also eggs contain biotin so the biotin to the eggs are gonna be helping you out guys you know, to you know to regrow your hair back right so what I usually do I always go about making a salad in my salad I always put a lot of eggs a lot of avocados and a lot of tomatoes in my salad right so that gonna be a great source of you know uh, different sources of, of biotin in one single meal I'll be having two sources of biotin into my diet right the next food gotta be uh, carrots always good about consuming a lot of carrots carrots contain a lot of vitamins especially the precisely vitamin b6 which is good for your hair Grow, right and beside the vitamin b6 carrot helps improve the supply of oxygen to your hair follicles in this way you're going to be able to be growing healthy hairs right mm -hmm. 